Hey everyone, welcome back, and thanks for tuning in. NCIS is one of the USA's longest-running TV series. The NCIS cast salaries remain one of the show's largest expenses. In today's video, we will be talking about Mark Harmon's rich lifestyle and how he spends his millions. Don't forget to let us know what you think down in the comments, and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in. First, Mark Harmon and his net worth. Mark Harmon is most known as Leroy Jethro Gibbs, the star of the popular television show NCIS. This CBS blockbuster show has been a fan and favorite for well over a decade now. It turns out that Mark Harmon, who played Gibbs, is a multi-millionaire actor. He was not there by chance. To reach this stage in his life and profession, he had to invest a great deal of effort. For those who like watching crime-solving television shows, he's a household name. When it comes to advertising, this franchise is a dream come true, which has allowed them to keep Harmon on for so long. Aside from his work on the program, Mark Harmon has accumulated a personal net worth of over $90 million. You may be wondering how he arrived at this stage in his life. What did Mark Harmon do before acting. Before Mark Harmon stepped into his famous acting role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs, he was well on his way into professional football, which is what his father, Tom Harmon, did professionally before he did sports broadcasting. Harmon played junior college football while he lived in Los Angeles for two years. He received some offers for other major universities and eventually went to UCLA. At UCLA, he was the starting quarterback for two seasons. After graduating college, Harmon went on to pursue a career as a director of merchandising, which put his communications degree to use. Eventually, Harmon switched to acting and was pretty successful even at the beginning. His early career featured him portraying different medical staff or some type of law enforcement on TV shows and appearing in a variety of TV advertisements. His appearance on Flamingo Road in 1980 helped launch the acting career and develop the Mark Harmon we know and love today. How much is Mark Harmon worth? Mark Harmon might be worth $100 million by the year 2022, according to current estimates. It's estimated that each episode of NCIS makes him $500 dollars according to celebrities' net worths estimates. In 2018, he became ranked by Time Magazine as the sixth highest paid TV actor. He earned $19 million a year, which was less than four Big Bang Theory actors. Do you know how much each episode of NCIS brought in for actor Mark Harmon? For each episode of NCIS, Mark Harmon earned a sizable sum of money. It's estimated that he earned $525,000 every episode, according to Amount of Net Worth. For a season of 20 to 24 episodes, that works up to over $500,000 each episode. Harmon earned more than $12.6 million in a season of 24 episodes. According to this, Harmon earns roughly $20 million a year. What does Mark Harmon do with his $100 million? Due to his private life, he has been the source of media rumors that state he's a cheapskate and wears dirty clothes and doesn't buy deodorant. However, these claims obviously don't match up with the salary he's receiving from NCIS from his acting alone. While Mark Harmon is quite private with his life, it is known for sure, thanks to public record, that he and his wife own a $9 million Malibu mansion and a Montana ranch. It just goes to show that people will talk about you regardless. What are other NCIS stars making from the show? Michael Weatherly is an actor, director, and producer from the United States. He portrayed Special Agent Tony Dinozo on the program from 2003 to 2016, earning him a spot as one of the major cast of the time. He was a regular performer in Bull, another CBS drama, since leaving the program. Michael Weatherly has a net worth of $45 million dollars since around 2021. Michael received $250,000 each episode during the height of his career, one of the top earners in the show's history. Polly Perrette is also a very well-known actress who played Abby Scudo on the program. Polly has also appeared in various movies and TV shows, but this is her first major part in a TV show. She has a recurring part on Special Unit 2, another famous science fiction comedy series, for example. What was Abby's per-episode salary on NCIS? The actor was paid $200,000 each episode episode, earning her the show's highest paid female performer. She is worth around $22 million since about 2021, thanks to a reliable income through acting and other employment. Wilmer Valderrama is also a musician, and alongside his acting, he has been in a number of films. He debuted in the 14th season of the program. Ever since, he has portrayed Nicholas Torres on and off without missing a beat. Wilmer is a fan favorite due to his unusual accent and ability to improvise, in addition to his talent. Each episode pays $100,000 to the American actor. Wilmer has amassed a total value of $20 million during the course of his two-decade career. Acting and singing are his primary sources of income. He's often a social media personality with over 1.8 million Instagram followers. David McCallum is the show's oldest cast member. Donald Mallard, a retired medical examiner, is played by the Scottish actor. David, alias Ducky, has been in a number of other series, such as How to Steal the World and One Spy Too Many, in addition to NCIS. On NCIS, what does David McCallum
McCallum earn every episode? David McCallum gets paid $75,000 every episode, his per episode pay. Away from the show, David is one of the wealthiest actors in the world with a net worth of over $85 million. He has amassed a combined wealth of $10 million over the course of his six decades as an actor. Sean Murray has been the actor portraying Timothy McGee for over two decades. The Australian-born star has remained a vital component in the show's popularity despite losing weight over the run. Other shows in which he has appeared include This Boy's Life and Hocus Pocus. What is McGee's per-episode salary on NCIS? Sean's pay is among the most closely kept secrets on the program, despite the fact that he has been in it since the beginning. Sean Murray, on the other hand, has an estimated net worth of $8 million as of 2021. Cote de Pablo is an actor and a singer. Before departing NCIS, the Chilean-American performer was one of the show's main characters. There have been rumors that she would come back. Cote remains a valuable figure in NCIS history. Cote was paid $120,000 each episode throughout her time on the show. Her compensation is due to her strong resume and distinct personality, which is difficult to replicate in Hollywood. She is one of the wealthiest actors of Chilean descent as a result of the aforementioned characteristics. Cote has a combined wealth of $6 million, which comes primarily from acting and voiceover work. Emily Wickersham, a filmmaker and performer from Kansas, is a multi-talented individual. Despite the fact that she's one of the main characters in the 2012 film Gone, her position on NCIS was crucial to her career. Eleanor Bishop, her on-screen agent, assisted her in showcasing her acting abilities to millions around the world. Emily Wickersham has a net worth of $6 million in 2021. Unfortunately, as most NCIS cast salaries, her earnings from the program are unclear. However, she might be making close to $100,000 every episode, if not more, based on her role. The actor that portrays Leon Vance on NCIS is Roscoe Carroll. The American performer has also appeared in important films like Chicago Hope and Rock from 1994. Despite the fact that he does not even have a major role on NCIS, he remains a fan favorite due to his wonderful on-screen demeanor. Roscoe does have a net worth of $4 million since about 2021, yet it is unknown how much he gets every episode. His directing and acting jobs provide the majority of his income. Brian Dietzen is best known for his role as Jimmy Palmer on the hit television program NCIS. Other shows in which the University of Colorado alumni has appeared include From Justin to Kelly, Self-Inflicted, and Purgatory House. He also appeared on One on One for a few minutes. The amount of money he earns from the show is unclear. However, based on his role, he does not appear to be one of the top cast members. In comparison to Polly Perrette, Brian has appeared in fewer episodes throughout the years. He does, however, have a $2 million net worth. Where do these salaries compare to other actors on long-running criminal procedure shows? Since NCIS has been on the air for 19 seasons, it's obviously doing something right. But where does it compare with other high-ranking and long-running criminal procedure shows? Criminal Minds started back in 2005, and the cast generally make around $100,000 per episode. Another long-running TV show where the cast were paid outrageous amounts was The Big Bang Theory, where the actors were earning almost $1 million per episode. That's all we have for today's video. What do you think about the salary that Mark Hammond gets from each NCIS episode? What would you buy if your net worth was almost $100 million? Did we miss any other high-paid actors from the show? What did you think? Let us know down below in the comments.